Let's get read. Hello, people of BigTube. My name is Casey. Welcome to another video. And this day's video, I haven't done one of these in a while, and I'm so sorry, just because I've been so behind on everything, and because things have happened that have made me like run out of time, and I'm like, oh well, I could have done that video, and now it's going to be too late, sort of thing. And I feel like with this sort of video, you've got to get it done in time. So this is my anticipated releases video for the month of September so I'm filming this on the 29th of August here we have a book called Serpent and Dove by Shelby Maher this book comes out on the 3rd of September so this is about Louise who has fled her coven forsaken all magic and stealing things witches are hunted and are burned so reed is a chasseur which is kind of like a soldier and they cross paths so then it's just like oh my god what's gonna happen you know does he hunt witches and that sort of thing so it's a fantasy and it's very very hyped at the moment a lot of people are really really excited for this release and my stuff too it sounds really awesome and i look forward to it next of all we have the girl the sea gave back by adrian young this also comes out on the 3rd of september i was lucky enough to receive an e-arc of this from netgalley so i'm hoping to get that read at some point but this is about Tova, who was washed ashore as a child they are a truth tongue so they cast runes and rune stones they see into the future two clans then join together is there going to be a war or will they sort of like stay together and team up so it's a fantasy historical fiction sort of novel and yeah i'm really excited about this plus guys the cover is absolutely gorgeous this is a month of book covers because all of these have got fantastic book covers that make me want to like Oh, so we have There Will Come A Darkness by Katie Rose Paul. This also comes out on the third. And this is about seven prophets who guided humanity using visions as the future. 100 years ago, they all then disappeared. They've left a prophecy that a birth of a new prophet will come. Salvation or Wells destruction, who knows? A prince, a killer, a leader, a gambler, and a dying girl set on a course together. And yeah, sounds like it's going to be really, really good and fantastic. I love things where they just sort of like get different characters that will meet up together. And I really like this sort of thing, like when you meet all these characters. So it's a fantasy, high fantasy, and yeah, it sounds really, really cool. And I never heard of it before until I was looking on Goodreads, and I was like, this sounds really awesome. Next of all we have American Royals by Catherine McGee. So this is pretty much like as if America had some royals. So we've got characters like Princess Beatrice, Princess Samantha, Daphne Dayton, Nina Gonzalez and it's a world about American royals and their scandals, there's a bit of romance, there's drama and yeah I just love things. If you guys have tropes around royalty drama this is the book for you. So this comes out on the 5th of September and this is considered as a contemporary romance. Number five, we have The Babysitter's Coven by Kate Williams. This comes out on the 17th of September. So this one sounds really, really quirky and something that I would definitely read. So this is by Esme who has a babysitter's club and then Cassandra receives a note from her mum to then find the club. So then fighting evil before parents that get home is the sort of a vibe that it's giving. And it's a fantasy paranormal. It sounds really hick really sassy, really punky. And yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one. This next book a lot of people are really excited about as well. And this is Slay by Brittany Morris. This comes out on the 24th of September. This is about Kira, who is an honor student and a maths tutor in the day. But at home, she plays a multiplayer online game called Slay. So she is the game developer and no one knows it. So then when a teen is murdered due to a game dispute, Slay is in the media and then Kira is being trolled and threatened. So it's literally just about that sort of like thing. I really like the fact that it's an online game and it's really cool. But yes, yeah, it's, it's described as a contemporary. Next of all, we have How to Be Remy Cameron by Julian Winters. This comes out on the 10th of September. This is about Remy who is out he is gay he is a super likable it's a coming of age remy is getting to know himself 
and especially when he has to write an essay about himself. So it's an LGBT contemporary, it sounds pretty cool. I love putting an LGBT book on my list because I need to read more LGBT books and yeah, I'm hoping it's gonna be really, really cool. Book number eight we have is Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Weir. This comes out on the 10th as well. A lot of people are very, very anticipating this book as well. This is about an emperor which needs a necromancer and necromancer needs a swordman. So Gideon has a sword, but he's a reanimated corpse. So Harrowhank wants to be an immortal and there is a trial of wits and skill. It's a fantasy LGBT sci-fi sort of novel, but it sounds really quirky and different and I'm really liking that. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna really like this Gideon the Ninth character. And yeah, I think it's gonna be awesome. Book number nine we have here is A Frankly In Love by David Yoon, who is the husband of Nicola Yoon, if you guys didn't know. This book comes out on the 10th and this is about Frank Lee, who is in limbo. They are Korean American. Parents say to date a Korean, so Frank falls for a white girl, unfortunately. So his friend Joy is in a similar situation. So Frank and Joy then pretend to date, but will it turn into real love? Who knows? We'll find out in the book. But yes, contemporary romance, and I'm really actually excited for this. It's got a bit of diversity, because frankly, it's like partially Korean. And yeah, it sounds very, very cool. And I love my Korean. Maybe there'll be some K-pop in it, who knows. And then finally, my last book that I'm anticipating is called She's the Worst by Lauren Solia. And this comes out on the third as well. And it's about sisters, April and Jen. They haven't been close in years. They explore all of LA has to offer. April learns that Jen has a secret. Can they save their sister relationship? So it's a contemporary that is pretty much about sisters. And I really liked that sort of thing. I was just like, I need to read a book that's about family bonds and about sisters and yeah, sounds really cool. So I hadn't heard this book before and as soon as I heard it was about sisters rebuilding the relationship, I was just like, this sounds so cool, so awesome and the sort of book I need to read. That's it for my anticipated releases. I could obviously extend the list but I'm only going to mention 10 per month. So these are 10 of my anticipated releases. I'm really sad about all of these and I'm definitely I'd say if I had to say that what I'm the most excited about, probably either American Royals, Gideon the Knife, and Frankly in Love. They're probably like my top three that I'm really most excited for. And I'm hoping to get my hands on them and to give them a read. And yeah, I'm really, really excited. So let me know down below in the comments if you've heard about these books, if they're also in your top anticipated releases books if they're the sort of books you would like to read if you're like hey this book sounds really really good i've added it to my tbr hopefully i've helped you guys find some books in the month of september september releases and all that sort of thing and or if you have managed to get an arc of any of these books and you've read it already and you can let me know what you thought about it whether it's definitely worth getting and that sort of thing. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. All of my social media links as always linked down below in the description. Thank you very much for watching my video. Keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. My name is Katie and I'll see all of you wonderful, awesome people in my next video. Bye.